These three couples will swap partners for a half hour of suspense, laughs, and prizes. Someone could take home this 1972 Pontiac Firebird. It's all in fun, and it's all here on Change Partners. Now, here's the star of our show, Art James. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to Change Partners. Well, just before the show, our couples got together, they talked things over, and they decided that today, all the husbands would answer questions, and the wives would be scorekeepers. Let's meet our players. Hi, I'm Dara Sprung. I have six children. We live in the suburbs, and I'm going to keep score today. My name is Jack Sprung. I'm Doris's husband. I'm in the real estate business, and I shall answer questions. Hi, I'm Patty Litt. I'm the secretary, and I'm going to keep, keep score. Hi, I'm Ed Litt. I'm a computer operator, and I'm going to be answering questions. Hello, I'm Jane Dias. I'm an airline stewardess, and I'm going to keep score. Hi, I'm Bob Dias. I'm in the travel marketing business, and I'm going to answer questions. Okay, players, let's change partners, and here's what I mean by that. Jack Sprung, you are going to be playing against Jane Dias. Now, Ed Litt, say goodbye to Patty, because during the course of the game, your opponent will be Dora Sprung. And that means, Bob Dias, that your opponent will be Patty Litt. Go ahead, players, change partners. Oh All right, our players will be seated, and in a moment, we'll have the first round of change partners right after this. That's <laughs> so beautiful. Ready, players? The object of the game now is for the scorekeeper to acquire as many points as possible in order to go for the biggest prize possible. The couple with the biggest prize wins and gets to play in today's winner's choice round for a chance to double their points and go for our 1,000 point prize, the Pontiac Firebird. Speaking of prizes, here's Tom Whitaker to describe three that can be won today. Our 100 point prize from the Monarch Range Company, Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. This stunning Monarch electric range featuring the Stay Clean oven that cleans itself continuously. Our 200 point prize, a hot point home laundry, an automatic washer with select a cycle and a matching dryer that dries all your clothes, including permanent press, automatically from hot point. And our 300 point prize from the famous line of tap and kitchen appliances, the sensational new side-by-side -side combination refrigerator freezer, plus the unique trash compactor. Tapan, quality appliances since 1881. Art? Now, during the game, our audience will see the correct answers to the questions, along with the official score. Our players will not. Now, all skeeper, uh, scorekeepers start off with 100 points, and let's start the game. All right, the game starts with the first question going to you, Ed Litt. Listen to this. Doris will be listening because she'll be um, judging the answer you give. Listen to this. Ed, multiply the number of red stripes in the American flag times the number of white stripes, and what do you get? Uh, 42. What do you say to that, Doris? You can uh, bet from 10 to 100 points as to whether he's right or wrong. I'll bet 60 that he's right. 60 that he is right. Well, we'll see about that later. Right now, we're moving on to Bob Dias for his first question of the day. Bob, get set. Here it is. Water boils at what degree Fahrenheit? 200, 212, or 220? Which one of those three? 220. He says 220, and Patty Litt, you're nodding. I'll bet 50 that he's right. She says 50 that you are correct in that answer, Bob Dias. And now we're moving over to Jack Sprung for his first question of the day. Jack, here we go. What's the capital of Maine? Bangor. Bangor, Maine. Jane Dias. Now, I, I uh, bet 70 points that he's wrong. She thinks you're wrong, Jack Sprung, and she's willing to bet 70 points on that. All right, here we go. Once again around, players. Ed, here's your next question. Ed, if you're being examined by a phrenologist, he's putting his hands on your what? <laughs> hmm. He better be putting his hands on my head. <laughs> really? Is that what a phrenologist does, uh, Doris? Uh, I'll bet 80 he's wrong. She says you're wrong. 80 points worth. All right, let's go over now to uh, Bob Dias for his next question. Bob, listen to this. Is tripe made from the stomach, intestines, or brains of an animal? Appetizing question. Mm. Uh, intestines. 
He says intestines. Um, I'll bet 80 he's right. Patty says that you are right, and she wagers 80 points, and we are moving on now to uh, Jack Sprung for his next question. Here we go, Jack. Jack, how long is a fortnight? Ten days. Jane Dias, what do you say? Oh, 80, he's wrong. You're wrong, says Jane Dias. She wagers 80 points. And players, here we go. This is your last chance in the first round to rack up points. Last question in the first round of Change Partners. Ed Litt, here, listen to this. How are you at spelling, Ed? We want you to go with calliope. Oh, terrible. It's <laughs> the world's worst. Now, he may be doing that to throw you off. Go ahead. Calliope, calliope. is the, uh, the word, Ed. C-A-L-L-I-O-P-E. Is that right, or is it weird? No, no don't. Right. How, how much? A hundred that he's right. A hundred points that you are right. It sounded weird to me. <laughs> All right, we're moving on now to Bob Dias for his next question, and here it is. Bob, the first man, this is a true-false question. The first man to orbit Earth was Yuri Gagarin. True or false? That is, um, false. <clears throat> he says false. What do you say, Patty? Um, 70, he's right. 70 points that you are indeed right. All right, we're moving on now to Jack Sprung. This wraps it up for the first round, Jack. Your question is, what is the most precious gem in the world? The most precious gem. That's a diamond. He very quickly said diamond. Jane, what do you say? Um, I believe for 100 points that he's right. 100 points that Jack Sprung is correct by saying diamonds. That ends the first round of Change Partners players. Sit back and relax. We'll have more right after this message. Watch. Just before we begin the second round of Change Partners, here's Tom Whitaker with three more prizes that can be won today. Our 400-point prize, an elegant stereo console, the contemporary look from Electrophonic, and from Admiral, an 18-inch color TV featuring solid-state automatic fine-tuning. Our 500-point prize, lovely dining room furniture from Broyhill Premier, the Mediterranean collection from Broyhill, and beautiful Maslan carpeting for lasting beauty. And our 600-point prize, a vacation for two in Bermuda, Two weeks at the elegant Princess Hotel, and you'll fly there and back via National Airlines. You're going to have a great flight. Here again, Art James. Okay, here we go. The second round of Change Partners begins with the uh, first question in this round going to Ed Litt. He's ready. Doris Sprung is ready to score him. Here we go, Ed. Name the capital of Missouri. Uh, a lot of people think that's St. Louis, but it's Jefferson City. Is it, Doris? Uh... 50 that he's right. Well, he gave uh, two answers there in an effort to throw Doris off, but she's uh, wagered 50 points that he is right. And we're over to Bob Dias for his next question. Here it is, Bob. Which of these games is not played with cards? Not played with cards. Is it Farrell, Cribbage, or Backgammon? Which is not played with cards? Cribbage. 100 points, he's wrong. Patty says that you are wrong, and she's going all the way. 100 points. Cribbage is not played with cards, says Patty. Over to Jack Sprung for his first question in the second round. All right, Jack, what is our southernmost state? Hmm? Texas. He thought about it. He said Texas. Jane? Uh, oh, 100 points, he's wrong. Jane thinks you're putting her on, Jack. All right, she wagered 100 points. Now we're over to Ed Litt for his next question. Here we go, Ed. Which of these four men was not a defender of the Alamo? Sam Houston, Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, or William Travis? William Travis. Doris? A hundred, he's wrong. A hundred points that you are wrong, Ed. Well, let's move over now to Bob Dias. Here we go, Bob. It's close, but which is larger, Central Park or Monaco? Interesting question. Central Park. He says Central Park is larger than the entire country of Monaco. Patty? Um, 80, he's right. It's kind of a very interesting, unusual question, and Patty says that you are right in saying Central Park is bigger. All right, Jack Sprung, here we go. Here's your next question. Jack, if you gave me a pain in the patella, where would I hurt? 
Pardon me, in the backside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dave. <laughs> no, uh, I, think he's, I think you're wrong. 100 points, he's wrong. She says the uh, hurting of the patella would not be in the backside. She waits at 100 uh, points. And now we're over to the last question in this round uh, for Ed Litt. Here it is, Ed. True or false? The second largest city in population is Chicago. The second largest United States city in population is Chicago. Is that true or false? It's false. Doris? A uh, hundred year wrong. Doris Brunk shakes her head and wagers $100 that you are wrong in that answer, Ed. Bob Dias, your last question in the second round. Here it is. Long Day's Journey Into Night was the largely autobiographical story of D.H. Lawrence, Eugene O'Neill, or Tennessee Williams. Which of those three? Tennessee Williams. Quick answer. What do you say, Patty? Mm, 90, he's right. She was encouraged by the authenticity of your response, Bob, and she wagered uh, 90 points that you were right. Here we go, Jack Sprung. Last question, wrapping up the second round of Change Partners, and it's a spelling question for you. Spell ukulele. U-K-U... <laughs> yes. L-E-L-E. -L -E. Jane, you were listening. What do you think? Ah. Uh He's right. 100 points that he's right. That's a strange spelling, but it may actually be right on the button. Jane says you're right, and that's it, players. Relax. We'll be back in one minute for our third and final round of Change Partners right after this. Just before the third and final round of Change Partners, here's Tom with three of our top prizes today. Our 700-point prize, a stunning diamond ring, an elegant blue-white diamond in a pear design with two tapered baguettes, a total of four carats, all handsomely set in gleaming platinum. Our 800-point prize from the great Spiegel catalog, a magnificent full-length glacial tourmaline mink, exquisitely designed in every detail from Spiegel, where great things are happening. And our 900-point prize, a sleek 18-foot silver line boat. It's the fiberglass Capri, and it's powered by the Lark 100-horsepower Evinrude motor with power to spare. Art? Now, for our viewers at home who've been playing along with us, we're going to put you in about the same position as our players. You'll see the answers to the questions, but the official score will not be revealed. Stay with us. Right. <laughs> cool. No, at least 15 seconds. Hmm. Here we go, the third and final round of Change Partners. Last chance to acquire points, players. Ed Litt, you start us off in this final round. Here's your question. What's wrong with this statement? The day, the month, or the year? D-Day was July 6th. 1944. The month is wrong. Is it, Doris Sprung? I'll say 60. He's right. She agrees with you. 60 points. And we're over to Bob Dias for his question. Here we go, Bob. What direction are you going if your heading is 270 degrees? Your direction. West. What do you say, Patty? Uh, 50. He's right. She thinks you're right, 50 points there, and we're over to Jack Sprung, who will be scored by Jane Dias. Listen, Jack, to what country does Greenland belong to? You know the answer to that? That's the happy land, that's Denmark. Uh, I believe you're right, for 90 points, he's right. 90 points that you are right. And we're over to Ed Litt now for his second question in this last round. Ed, who was Porky Pig's girlfriend, Petunia, Petula, <laughs> or Penelope? Petunia. How about it, Doris? Oh, yes. 50, he's right. All right, you're right, and she's betting 50, and we're over to Bob Dias now. Here we go, Bob. Name the capital of Michigan. Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. Lansing. How many points, Patty, right or wrong? Oh, um... Yes. 
80, he's wrong. Okay, now we're over to Jack Sprung for his second question in this round. Jack, what's the largest planet in our solar system? Yes, Jack. Jupiter. Jane? Mm-mm. No. Um, How many points no? 40 that he's wrong. 40 points that you are wrong. Now we're over to Ed Litt for his next question. Ed, Anna and the King of Siam would now be known as Anna and the King of what country? Thailand. Quick answer. Yes, Doris. I think he's right for 100. She thinks it wasn't a bluff. She's wagering 100 points that you were right, that Siam was changed to Thailand. Here we go, Bob Dias. Your next question. We want everybody else to spell the question. It's your turn. Spell caffeine. Caffeine. C-A-F-E-I-N-E. -E. Um, Patty? 90, he's right. Hmm. All right. We're over to Jack Sprung. Here we go, Jack. Was Romeo's last name Montague or Capulet? Those were the two families, his last name. Montague. Jane Dias, how do you rate that answer? Uh, 100 points that, uh, oh, you're right. <laughs> 100 points. OK, this is it. Last time around, players, the final question of the day. Ed Litt, your final question is, what is a flock of geese called, a gaggle, a grouse, or a coven? Hmm. Good <laughs> a gaggle. <laughs> yes, um, 90 that you're wrong. <laughs> Gee, doesn't like that answer at all. 90 points. Here we go, Bob Dias, your final question of the day. The role of Count Dracula is most closely associated with Boris Karloff, Bela Lugosi, or Lon Chaney. Which of those three for Count Dracula? Boris Karloff. Yes, Patty? 80, he's wrong. Oh, she seems sure about that, too. Here we go, Jack Sprung. Your last question. Last chance for Jane to rack up points here. True or false? Starboard is left, port is right. Yes. Yes, Jack? True. He says it's true. What do you say, Jane? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 70 points here, wrong. OK, players, that's it. If you will now rejoin your rightful mates and talk things over, in a moment, we'll find out if you're going for cash or prizes, who gets to play in our winner's choice round. We'll see what happens right after this. Now, during our break, everybody got together with their respective mates, talked things over, and decided what prizes they're going for. Players, keep in mind, if you declare for, say, a 500-point prize, and you actually have less than 500 points, you get nothing. It's the couple with the biggest prize who wins, plays in today's winner's choice round, where they can double their points and perhaps win that Pontiac Firebird. Now, if you want to go for cash, we'll give you $1 for every point you actually have. But in order to win, you must go for a prize. Everybody together now. Cash or prize? Go! And they are all going for prizes. Two for the 600-point prize. Doris and Jack Sprung for the 500-point prize. We'll start with them. Well, you know what's involved here. If you have 500 points or more, the dining room set with the carpeting is yours, and that could be the top prize of the day. All right, Doris and Jack, you'll be interested to know that your official total is 550 points, you've got it. Stand by. We are over to Patty and Ed Litnow, who are going for a larger prize, the Bermuda Vacation, two weeks for two, the 600-point prize. Now, Patty, I see you've come down from 870 to go for the 600-point prize after discussing things with Ed. Listen carefully. Your official total is 110 points. I'm sorry you didn't get it. All right, Jane and Bob Dias, it's all up to you. You came down from 950 points to go for the 600-point prize, the Bermuda Vacation. If you have 600 or more, the vacation is yours. You're our top prize getters of the day, our champs. But if you miss Doris and Jack Sprung with their 500-point prize, we'll win. All right, Dias's, here we go. Your official total is... 750, they've got it! <laughs> Congratulations, Jane and Bob Dias. 
to have the Bermuda vacation. They'll be playing in our winner's choice round and we'll be going for that car, perhaps. It's their decision. We'll see what happens. But now we have to say goodbye to Patty and Ed Litt, who played wonderfully well, I must say. I hope it's been fun for you. We'll have a going away gift for you. Thank you. Well, Doris and Jack Sprung, you've got the dining room set together with the carpeting. It's been a nice day for you. Thanks for being with us. We will watch Jane and Bob Dias in our winner's choice round in a moment. Time now for our winner's choice round. Mr. and Mrs. Dias, you are our top prize getters today with the 600 point prize, the Bermuda Vacation. And now have a chance to double your winnings and go for that great car. Here's Tom Whitaker to tell you about it. And our grand prize, a sleek Pontiac Firebird, a wide track sports car with true design integrity. It's tough, sensibly priced, and built to last. It's Pontiac, a cut above. Art. Mr. and Mrs. Dias, you have a decision to make, so listen carefully. Now, you can play it safe, quit now, and take home your Bermuda vacation. But if you want to gamble and go for the car, our 1,000-point prize, you must bet your vacation on one question. If you answer correctly, we'll double your points, giving you a grand total of 1,200 points, which means you win the car plus $200 in cash. But if you miss the question, you lose your vacation. Whichever way you decide, you'll be back tomorrow to meet two new couples. It's winner's choice. What do you say? We're going to go for it. They want the car. They're going for it. It hinges on one question, and here it is. Listen carefully. Give me the first few words of the Declaration of Independence. Mr. and Mrs. Dice, your time is up. Your answer. We can't agree. No, I, no, I, no. I think it's I we the right. people. No, no, I will speak. We your the time people. is up. You've had time to decide. I must have your answer now. I'll speak for both of us. Mr. Dyes will speak for both of us. When in the course of human events. That's what you think the first few words of the Declaration of Independence are. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Dyes, those words actually are, when in the course of human events it becomes <laughs> necessary, they're right, they win the car. The car is theirs, plus $200 in cash. Big day for Jane and Bob Dias. Well, they'll meet two new couples tomorrow when we all get together on Change Partners. Hope to see you, everybody. This is Art James saying bye-bye. <laughs>